Uh, the government had directed that it is with immediate effect. We are looking at the beginning of term next year. As we talk now, we did say statistics of 64,000 teachers who have come out of the colleges. With the, one of the modules is Kiswahili. So the teachers of primary are there. And because we're talking about 5,800 primary schools, and yet we have 64,000 teachers who have the knowledge of teaching Kiswahili. So the, capacity, the teachers are there. There's no need for government to look for teachers. We only need to reinforce their capacity. We are here training now the center coordinating tutors of Uganda, whose role is very critical in the implementation of the Kiswahili curriculum at the primary level. We are training the CCTs to help them interpret the Kiswahili curriculum. Kiswahili has, of course, given our history as a country, our bad days. Kiswahili was a language of torture. The thieves and thugs we used to have in the 70s and 80s, early 80s, used to use Swahili to intimidate and grab property from people. And that one now uh, brought some bit of trauma and dislike for Swahili as a subject, as, as a language. So we are now, we have to do mindset change and tell people that Swahili is just a language like any other language. <laughs>